This video will show you how to add text to your vector mosaics. Right now we are looking at the preset called Squares with Text, and that's located in the Paint Synthesizer in the Auto Paint Collection and Mosaics with Text category. What's happening here is that there's a vector background which is filling the mosaic regions. And on top of that, there is text, which is raster. Let's go into the editor to see how this is set up. First, let's look at the vector output panel. There is a render option here, which can be set to vector raster repeat, or raster vector repeat, or just raster, or just vector output. This preset is using vector with raster repeat, which means that the vector region is rendered first, and then the raster region is rendered on top. In this case, the raster region is text. Another setting that needs to be set for vector raster repeat to work is in path application. You need to have repeat stroke to be at two. So that means that the first stroke will be the vector background and the second stroke will be the raster brush, which in this case is text. Next, we will look at the panel that sets the raster brush to text and that's in brush source. Here, the source needs to be set to text and here you can set the style. You can also use the TV position modulator to display the text in different ways. This is important if you want to save your text settings with your presets. And here, add whatever text you want. So I'll just change this and press action. Besides the brush source, a few other settings need to be adjusted to make text work in a mosaic. The first is in brush type. This setting needs to be source alpha brush. And another important setting is in region as brush mode. Right now it is set to text brush character, which is why there is only one character per region in our image. If I change it to either of the brush word settings, it will include the whole word in the region. The other thing I would like to talk about is color. You can have separate colorization options for the vector background and the raster text. So back in the vector output, the vector background is currently set to color, which is set in the paint color source panel. So I'll just bring that up. And here you can see the color mode option is set to color, which just means it is using the source image colors. So I would just change it to a couple different options so you can see some of the possibilities. So next, let's look at the text color. The raster brush, which is the text brush, is getting its coloring from paint fill setup, and it's set to fix color one. So I will go over to the fixed colors panel to see what it's set to. So fix color one here is also set up to the source color, but it has a little luminance randomization, so it pops a little. I'm going to change this to a few other options just to show you. I'm going to set it to the mid luminance, which will just bring it out a little, but still match the coloring of the source image. So I'd also like to show you really quickly how you could add some shadowing to the text. We just need to go back to the region as brush mode panel. There's a shadow option here, which I'll turn on, and this is what it looks like. If you want to just have text without the vector background, it's really easy. Just change the output of the vector output panel to raster, and then you will only have the text. And then you can bring back the vector by changing it back. And that's how you add text to mosaics in Studio Artist.